Hello everyone. Welcome to our new session on PADSS, that is, Payment Application Data Security Standard. Let's get started. The Payment Application Data Security Standard, known as PADSS, formerly referred to as the Payment Application Best Practices, is the global security standard created by the Payment Card Industry Security Standards Council. PADSS was implemented in an effort to provide the definitive data standard for software vendors that develop payment applications. The standard aims to prevent developed payment applications for third parties from storing prohibited secure data including magnetic stripe, CVV2, or PIN. In that process, the standard also dictates that software vendors develop payment applications that are compliant with the payment card industry data security standards. Ultimately PADSS and its validation program will be incorporated into the PCI software security framework. PADSS is the standard for validating payment applications that store, process, and transmit cardholders' data for payment authorization and settlement. PADSS compliance is required when these applications are sold, distributed, and licensed to third parties, in addition to taking part in payment authorization and settlement. In other words, if you create your payment application for the use of your organization, the application will be covered under the PCIDSS scope. However, if you sell, distribute, or license the payment applications, that is the off-the-shelf solutions, to different customers, then the application must meet the PADSS compliance guidelines. To achieve PADSS compliance, a software vendor must have the corresponding application audited and certified by a PADSS qualified security assessor, that is QSA. PADSS compliance requires organizations to follow a set of guidelines to ensure the security of cardholders' data. For example, you must not retain full magnetic stripe, card validation code or value, or pin block data. You must have secure password features, detailed activity logs, additional security for wireless transmissions. Also, organizations must test applications annually to identify threats and vulnerabilities and also to maintain detailed documentation for all of your stakeholders. Moving on, let's understand PADSS requirements. For a payment application to be deemed PADSS compliant, software vendors must ensure that their software includes the following 14 protections. First, do not retain full track data, card verification code or value, like CAV2, CID, CVC2, CVV2, or PIN block data. Next, protect stored cardholder data. Next, provide secure authentication features. Next, log payment application activity. Next, develop secure payment applications. Next, protect wireless transmissions. Next, test payment applications to address vulnerabilities and maintain payment application updates. Next, facilitate secure network implementation. Next, cardholder data must never be stored on a server connected to the internet. Next, facilitate secure remote access to payment application. Next, encrypt sensitive traffic over public networks. Next, secure all non-console administrative access. Next, maintain a PADSS implementation guide for customers, resellers, and integrators. And lastly, assign PADSS responsibilities for personnel, and maintain training programs for personnel, customers, resellers, and integrators. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Please email us your topic if you want us to make a video on it. Thank you.